What's up my schlumpkins? How you doing today? It's Chris here, and we're gonna talk about the Moab Pit and possibly the new meta. Oh my god. What does meta even mean? It makes no sense, Chris. You're such a weird I am. I'm a weirdo. Um, but meta is is basically the word for the, the strat that works the best. That's the best, easiest definition that I can come up with. The strat that works the best and everybody starts to end up using. That is what the meta means. So, realistically, we're trying to find the new best strategy. What is going to be the best strategy to use? And, um... We've been testing this strategy out quite a bit, and I, th I want to try it out again and see if we can make it work for ourselves and see if it really is that fantastic. So we're going to go with uh, Ninja, Cannon, and Mortar. Now I've tried like a couple strategy, like right at the very first day that this this uh, uh, this came out. You guys remember in my live stream I was testing out a bunch of strategies, and this was one that actually came up um, was Ninja Cannon. We tried Ninja Cannon, and we ended up losing a lot of games with our Ninja Cannon strategy. Um, but then I slowly realized, well, actually, very fairly quickly realized, that cannon, that uh, mortars were pretty darn amazing. Not unstoppable by any means, but they're pretty darn good towers to have. They're actually decent, um, tower, uh, good enough to pick as one of your three towers. That's all I'm really saying. So now we're going to try and mix these guys together into a Ninja Cannon mortar strategy. I've only seen it a couple times, honestly, um, throughout uh, battles. Most people still s chill with their sort of weirdly odd dart monkey farm something strategies. I don't even know. But anyways, we're going to go hardcore balloons, of course. Um, I, I kind of messed up a little bit, and ooh, this is good. This is real good. Yes, yes, yes. I love when people do banana farm plus wizard. What? How was he able to afford all that crap? I'm kind of sad now. I was really excited until now I'm sad. Um, I think the main problem was I waited a little bit too long, guys. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to uh, rush right away, but I just didn't. So anyways, um, I'm going to pop a scan strong. Uh, I might get double shot as well, we'll see. For now, I'm just kind of chilling with uh, just, just this dart monkey. I got him on strong, so um, he should be able to pop a lot of these blooms. If he rushes me with blues or anything like, like that, though, I want to be ready for it with a third tier cannon, and those guys are pretty darn pricey, so let's use our road spikes as well. He's still rushing with a lot of pinks, and I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. You know, let's do it. Let's get the third tier. Double shot. He's gonna balloon energy on top of it, but now we got the double shot, so it's not gonna be a big deal at all. So if you're wondering, why did you put your cannon there, Chris? It seems like a kind of stupid spot. Well, you gotta think, I'm thinking ahead here, guys. I want to be ready for uh, late mid-game. You know, I want to be ready for those zebra rushes and everything. I'm thinking, where's a good spot for a third tier cannon? A cluster cannon. And that is a good spot for cluster cannon. I'm not thinking what's good for round 1 and 2, because that really doesn't matter all that much. The balloons aren't going to stink very easily, especially with the third tier ninja. So, um, that's just, like, a really solid spot to put him in. As far as the ninja goes, I think the same thing. You know, just pop him right in the middle somewhere where he's pretty decent in the mid-game, um, and, of course, go to the early game. Alright, so, uh, what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to wait a few seconds, and I'm going to go for a pretty reasonable-sized yellow rush. He's going to go for an engineer-wizard combo. Man, I've never seen that before. That's pretty interesting, though. Um, I like that people are still coming up with these new combinations of towers. Um, even in the Moab Pit and everything, people are coming up with these crazy strats that somehow will work for them, you know? So anyways, we're going to go a lot of yellow blooms here. We're going to get a lot of income, um, probably all the way up to about 600 or something like that. He's going to have to use a battle energy almost guaranteed here, guys. Um, if he doesn't, he's going to lose the game, but there we go. He battle energies a little bit on the late side. And he's going to defend the balloons, but he does end up losing a few lives on that thing. Uh, but now we have to get ready, guys. We have to start getting ready for these uh, big, bad rushes that could possibly come out um, pretty much in any second, actually. So we got Barony stuff, increased accuracy. Um, we'll get Signal Flare as well, but Bigger Blast we're going to hold off on for a few minutes. Because we really don't need it, you know? I mean, unless you start sending out spaced camo pinks or something really weird or funky, we really don't need it. You know, even then we got the ninja, so... Uh, all we need is, like, to have this guy hit most of the balloons, not every single balloon. So the one thing you're probably noticing... Oh, he's gonna go for a gigantic rush against me, isn't he? So we're gonna have to go like this, we're gonna set our target over here, we're gonna get the bigger blast as well. Hopefully this is good enough, my friends. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, little cannon, you can do it! Little cannon, you can do it! And with that power right there, with the mortar micro, we do end up surviving the gigantic regen rainbow rush. And guess what that means? Suck it with some zebra balloons. We force another set of battle energy. Um, and we don't kill them though. 
so... Oh, whoa, oh, we're gonna force some lives over there. But we do not kill him because we did not go banana farms. We really don't have that much money flowing in at this point. But guess what? Regen Rainbow, Regen Zebra, Regen Zebra. That's gonna be more than enough to get through his defense, I think. The Lightning Wizard is just not that strong against Regen Bloons. Um, he's gonna sell everything, trying to get some cleansing foam over there. Oh, he gets the Blue Trap up! <gasps> oh, but it's not enough. Oh, that was actually a pretty cool play right there. Getting the Bloom Trap up was a smart move, but he just couldn't d defend. So there's, there's the power right there, guys. Mortar Cannon was able to defend a gigantic Regen Rainbow Rush, which is a tiny bit of micro. Of course, that was a, like a reasonably long level. But that was pretty solid overall. Um, I'm still thinking of different strategies where I could do this, like, but with a, a banana farm. Like, I don't know what would be a good combination of towers to be used with a banana farm. Um, maybe Ninja Mortar and just skip the cannon completely. You're a little bit weak against those group balloons. You know, the mortar's good and everything, but you're going to have to get multiple mortars instead of a third tier cannon, which... I don't know, man. I mean, the Bernie stuff is really the powerhouse of the mortar. And if you're not getting that Bernie stuff, um, you know, like, you have to re-put it on, you know? It does. It, does, it only wears off after three balloons, so, like, you can't just re-put it on and just have it double Bernie stuff. So that's why the third tier cannon mortar combo, combo is actually good. So here we go. We're going to skip that guy, and we get Hydro Dam. Let's skip it again, man. Let's see if we can get something better. And we'll get Indoor Pools. Well, the three shortest maps in the game... Uh, in a row. Oh my god. But let's do it again. Let's do Ninja, Cannon, and Mortar. We get a bonus of... Engineer. Not bad. Not bad. But I think we're probably better off with a Ninja. So we're going to do a Ninja start, obviously. Uh, pop him right in the middle there. And, of course, I'm going to upgrade him pretty darn high. So we're going to get Seeking Shuriken as my first upgrade, actually. So we see a Ninja coming out from this guy. But, of course, we're going Bloon Income the entire game. Bloons, 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 Bloons. Get them flowing, baby. Okay, send them out. Um, so anyways, he's not rushing with balloons yet. He got a third tier ninja first. Okay, that kind of makes sense, I suppose. Kind of. So he's defending these balloons pretty darn easily. I don't know if I should go for a cannon or just stay with the third tier ninja. I think a third tier ninja is probably the better thing to start off with. So let's do that first. Seven, four, eight. There we go. Get that road spikes. We don't lose too many lives. And he's actually getting overwhelmed with reds as well. We're gonna have to get a cannon pretty soon as well. But we want to keep the red balloons flowing until uh, we transition into these blues. We're actually gonna balloon energy these blues, by the way. Uh, just a crazy amount of blues as fast as we freaking can. I'm gonna use my road spikes and possibly my battle energy here against his blues. Let's see what he does. He's gonna stop with that. So that's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. We're overwhelming him still with these blues. Um, I don't think he uses the battle energy though, which is kind of weird. Did he use the battle energy? I'm not sure. So he's losing a lot of lives right now. These blues are still overwhelming him like crazy. Down to 100 lives. 98 lives. we got to get ready for those green balloons on this next round, guys. So we're going to have to stop with 359 income. That's just where we got to end it with. He's down to 70-something lives. And he used another set of battle energy. Holy crap, dude. This is really nice, guys. Perfect timing for that. So we're going to switch over to uh, a mortar, actually. Possibly with Bernie stuff. We'll have to see once we get uh, ready for it. But honestly, um, it's looking pretty good for us. You know, he's got he's got the wizard ninja combo again. We've seen that uh, a lot. So maybe that's a pretty decent combo to use on these you know sort of short levels. Wizard ninja. It's just got every single uh, bloom type of possibility. It's weak against some crazy rushes, but with battle energy, it can defend a lot of stuff. Alright, so do we go for a yellow rush here? I feel like it's a little bit on the greedy side. I don't think we should do it. I don't think we should do it, guys. Let's see if he's gonna rush me, though. He is going to rush me. I'm gonna do that with that. Um, I will use my last two sets of road spikes right here. Um, might have to get another ninja over here. He's going with kind of hardcore. That was just a... What, that was a ridiculously silly rush from him. Uh, we used the battle energy right away because we saw regen yellows instead of regular yellows. And now he's down so much money, it's ridiculous. So realistically, I think at this point... Um, I don't know, it still could go either way. It's not like we got this in the bag yet. But basically, I want him to rush me one more time. I'm just going to Bloom Jitsu or get the Signal Flare or something to defend. He might do some Camel Leads against me, and I'll get the Signal Flare up. That's not a big deal. Uh, so, I'm just going to be careful. I can be very, very careful. Let's see, I got two ninjas now as well, so I can e easily upgrade this guy as well to help uh, deal with those crazy blooms that are going to be coming out. Let's see, round 12. 
Should I do a few blacks really quick, just to mess with him? I can use his battle energy or something. <laughs> might, might hurt him here. Oh, baby, we forced the battle energy with that. We're going to kill it with it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, anyways, I don't know if he's going to rush me here. Regen. Rainbows! Uh-oh, don't die on me now. Don't die on me now. Oh, yeah. All right, so he just didn't play very well at all right there. I don't know, dude. Like, we didn't even play that fantastic. He just didn't play very well. So let's pop in here again into the Moab pit. Again, hopefully we don't play these super-duper ridiculously short levels. It's not that I, I think I'm awful at them. I just don't have as much fun on them. You know, I can still do pretty reasonably well on those long ones. Hydro Dam's probably my, my worst map, though. I just can't do Hydro Dam for some odd reason. So this guy is also kind of bad. 293, 342, so like, he's reasonable. Let's do this, and we get... Like, honestly, I kind of want to try, like, a banana farm as my random. Like, give me bananas. Bananas, baby. But no, we don't get lucky enough to get bananas. Not today. Okay, so let's do the exact same thing. Let's do a ninja start. Um, honestly, a very good starting tower. I'm actually very happy with my ninja starts lately. They can defend reds, pinks, the space blues, and then, you know, you can't really defend the grouped blues very well. But if you get them to put any sort of spaces whatsoever in their grouped blue sends, then it's not a big deal. So you can actually defend them. Against most people, you can defend even grouped blues with just a regular third tier ninja. 3-0 or even 3-1. But you need the 3-1 to defend the pinks. So anyways, another wizard player. Dude, is this wizard mania now? People love the wizards that much? I feel like it's still sort of a noob cake tower. I don't really recommend it. So if you guys are using the wizards, and you think that they got buffed so much, so extremely hard that now you need to use wizards every single time you're playing the game, I disagree with you, my friends. I disagree with you completely. Wizards, even though a fairly decent tower, should not be used as much as they are be using. Are, have been, are be using, will have been, have been, been used. Okay, whatever, you guys understand. Don't use wizards. So here we go, he's gonna rush me, I gotta get my secret jerky. I'm also just gonna get it because I can. Third tier ninja. I got the monies for it, why not? Man, that buff was ridiculous. I would never expect anybody to buff the ninjas. So I got him on first, right? Yeah, let's do should we do strong? I don't know. First isn't that bad. Actually kinda cool with first. Now if you noticed, I think the main reason why the ninja is so darn good is because the seeking shuriken can go anywhere on the screen. If it has like a short range, it wouldn't be that good. But with that ridiculous, ridiculous range like we've seen, it, it's pretty solid for sure. So now, do we want to switch over and use any of our random? I don't think so. I think I just want to chill with uh, what we've been doing, and what we've been doing has been working out really well for us. Even defending regenerating was now this time though. It's going to be a little bit different. Uh, this is a very, very difficult level to defend regenerate on. Because they regen, they have so much time to regen. So what I want to do here, guys, is I'm gonna get a solid five hundo, and then we're just gonna defend after that. Or even, no, I just, I, just, I want to get five hundred. I'm just weird like that. Cha 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 cha. All right, five hundred. Now he's gonna rush me the yellows though. Wonder. Hmm, interesting. Eh, yeah, he's not. Okay. So let's do it like this. I think we're going to go without the mortar this time. Uh, you know, it might seem a little bit weird, but I, th I think I think this will work out well for us. We're going to go like this. We're going to get a third tier cannon. Uh, up to 3-2, actually, instead of 3-0. 3-2. And then realistically, uh, I'm thinking this is what we're going to do. We're going to save up, you know, about 3,000 something odd dollars. And if this guy does decide to rush us with a ridiculous, ridiculous rush, like a regen rainbow crazy rush, we're going to get a fourth tier cannon, a 4-2 cannon. And then we're going to have to kind of sell and rebuy and micro a little bit to make sure we can defend all the possible blooms that are going to come out against us. But I just need to make sure that I get enough money for, you know, a uh, fourth tier cannon or fourth tier ninja, depending on what he sends out against us. Since I camo leads, then I'm in a little bit of a predicament, and that's kind of sad, but hopefully that doesn't happen. So anyways, he's got a pretty bad defense still. Um... Let's do just a little zebra rush. A little baby zebra rush. A little bit. Make him use the battle energy or something. There's the zebras. Um, Lightning Wizard's pretty good. Oh, crap, dude! He sold everything for a laser cannon? Chicka chicka. What, what? That's pretty crazy. Kind of interesting, though. Very interesting. 
interesting. Okay. So now what do we do? <laughs> Nothing. We have to defend. But we know, we know, we know something. Oh, here we go. So he's gonna go with uh, some camo pinks against me. But honestly, I'm not even that afraid. Like, I don't know why he did that. That was just a waste of money completely. He was trying to make me buy something that I don't really need, possibly. Trying to make me buy the blue jutsu. But yeah, like I said, now at this point, I think I can afford bl uh, Blue Impact and Fourth Year Ninja at the exact same time if I want to, or just go for a gigantic seven thousand dollar rush. So let's do let's do Blue Jitsu first. I just feel a lot safer with the Blue Jitsu. Um, regular blooms aren't gonna kill me. Zebras, blacks, all that other nonsense that usually causes problems won't do any damage. Um, and I think we gotta start doing some regular rushes. Like we gotta do a Moab with some like Regen Leads or something like that, and maybe that'll cause a mass chaos for him. Let's do like a single Moab. And see what he does to defend it. Laser cannons are pretty solid, man. They can pop a, a, a Moab for sure. But the reason why I'm sending this guy out... Oh, he's going to do it, man. Oh, it's kind of upsetting. He's going to make me buy all the way up to one, two, three. Signal flare over here. Kind of a lot of money invested in that thing. It's kind of upsetting, but we're going to defend, so I guess that's not too bad. So anyways, we rushed with the Moab, but it kept me from rushing with uh, regen leads afterwards. He's still rushing with those camo leads. But he's still struggling against that Moab right there. No battle energy yet. He's going to use it at the very last second. Will it be enough? I don't know. Did he defend it? He might have. On my screen, it definitely did not get defended. But on his screen, it could have. So we're going to go for another Moab over here. He used the battle energy to defend that thing. Because now without that battle energy, he might lose to a regular Moab. Anyways, if you haven't noticed, I still have a ton of freaking money over here. Just waiting to use it on what I need to use it on. I'm going to micro this the crap out of this stuff. He's going to go for a 2-0 uh, a banana farm. Uh, struggling a little bit. He's going to sell the laser cannon for a fire mage for a phoenix? <gasps> oh, that was pretty cool, man. I got to I got him credit for that. But he still might lose. Oh, he does. He loses. Even with the phoenix over there. If he had defended that, though, that would have been a really cool defense to have. So a little bit upsetting for him. Um, now here's the thing. I got to point this out. Ninja Cannon Mortar, is it really that good, or I'm, am I just playing with it well, slash playing people who are not playing against it well? I feel like there are easier strategies. I think what I want to try, um, I want to try, if it's on a reasonable size level, like this is a reasonable size level, let's try Ninja can you know, should, should I just keep up with the strat, guys? <sighs> let's do it, let's just keep up with the strat. I think in another video, I really want to try a Ninja Cannon mo or, uh, Banana Farm. And that'll increase our income like crazy. We get the Cobras. That's kind of interesting, too. I could do... I could do a... Co oh, my God. The, the strategies, man. Just, uh, just opening up a can of, of ridiculousness. So we're going to do a Cobra Strat with Wired Funds. Whoa, yeah. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna get uh, probably like a ninja to clean most of this stuff up. You know, I think that's the, the basic plan. Uh, if he decides to rush me at all with any sort of balloons. But what I wanna do though is I also wanna rush this guy with balloons as well. So he's gonna do, oh my god, this is ridiculous. We've got a ninja cannon counter strat. But technically we're going cobras. So, interesting. Interesting indeed. So there's my ninja. Unstoppable. No, definitely not unstoppable. We gotta get him up to Ninja Discipline, and I gotta get him up to this next upgrade as well before we start losing too many lives. Come on, there we go. Sharp Shurikens, alright. So I think I'm good for at least a little while. Uh, the Cobras are... Oh, man, we're still losing some lives, though. Like, barely any, but we are losing lives. So we go, it's round four already. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Blue balloons, go, go, go! With maybe a few pinks. A few pinks in there as well. He's rushing with a lot of balloons still, guys. I'll finally get my Seeking Shuriken. Not sure if that's going to help out as much. He's going to go with blues as well. We're going to save up all the way up to a third tier ninja here for sure. I'm going to use the battle energy. We just got to. So we're going to send out a few pinks. He's going to go for a third tier cannon, which is going to really open up a can of worms for these pink balloons, possibly. No. The ninja's too powerful. So that was a complete waste of time and money. So let's do this instead. Let's go for a mortar up here. And try to get more cobra bites, I suppose. This is not working out. This is just such an odd, weird strategy. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Cobras, ninja, mortar, cannon strat. <laughs> I don't think I can say that that works all that well. Definitely not yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, we didn't get it in time. I hate my life. 
I hate it. I really, really hate when that happens. When I get like ready to get uh, the wired funds, I need one one more second before I was able to uh, get that guy up. So let's switch over to balloon income. Get a lot of greens in here, maybe a couple blacks or whatever. I don't know. Just send out whatever we can afford. I think what I might end up doing is basically my cobras are going to be like banana farms. I don't even want them as popping power, you know? I just want them to have uh, the money aspect, you know? I can sell them at any point for some extra delicious, delicious money. It's already around 8, though. We barely even have 400. We don't even have 400 income. Like, that's horrible. Horrific. So I got to get 400. I'm just going to chill with 400. I know that's a little bit on the low side. Would you look at that, man? Ninja Cannon Mortar Strategy. Oh, snap, dude. This is going to get crazy. Um, do I want to go any higher with my income? You can't do much against this guy. Uh, let's do this. Let's get the Bernie stuff, increased accuracy. I don't really even... Oh, he was going to go for some pink blooms against me. Causing some problems. We'll get the double shot, for sure. Some more pink balloons. I guess he's going income against me still. Even on this late of a game. So what, what I've noticed, though, is the... Big rushes can get through these, these, you know, these, uh, uh, you know, these guys over here. So I'm just wondering if maybe I should go for like a pretty reasonable sized rush right here. Maybe just like two regen rainbows. Two regen rainbows. Let's see what he does against it. Gonna battle energy, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Scalar foil losing. No lives. 13 lives. What, what is that, man? 13, 13 lives? Seriously? That was an $1,800 rush right there. Got me no income. So when he's... Crap. Um... I gotta go for it, guys. Oh, he's gonna battle energy it. Eh, it's gonna be enough. Poo! Mega poo! Alright, so... Dude. Border Cannon Ninja doing a really solid job. Even without a fourth year ninja. He's still going a lot of income, too. So I think I might have to follow up with an even bigger rush over here, guys. One, two, three, four... Regen rainbows all out here, baby. All out, baby. All out. Go, regen rainbows. Go, little buddies. Come on. And yes. All right. So that was not even us playing good. That was just him making a mistake, not getting a fourth year cannon at the right time, and we ended up killing him. He went a little bit too greedy with that income, and that's what cost us to win that game, basically. Uh, it was a GG. Definitely a good game, my friend. Um, but I think we're out. So, overall, is this the new map? I don't think so. I think we can do better than Ninja Cannon Mortar. I think we need to involve the Banana Farm somehow if we're doing Ninja Cannon Mortar or, or Ninja Cannon or something like that. I think Ninja Cannon uh, Banana Farm might be a really interesting strat. Or even just saying ignore the cannon and go Ninja Mortar Banana Farm. I'm going to try that guy out in one of my next upcoming videos. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you press the like button and have a super duper delicious day.